Uh, there's one other type of resistance I want to mention, which is called natural resistance, or I'm calling natural resistance. Some bacteria simply are naturally resistant to an antibiotic. For example, gram-negative bacteria are resistant to drugs that target gram-positives and vice versa. But in addition, some states of bacteria can make them more resistant. For example, non-growing cells are more resistant to penicillin, simply because they're not growing, so they don't need new peptidoglycan. So they tend to survive quite well. In addition, there's something called biofilm, and these can be much more resistant. So what's a biofilm? Biofilms are growth of cells on surfaces. So most bacteria like to grow on communities on surfaces. This is an example of a Staph aureus biofilm taken from a catheter. So but you all know what this is without maybe knowing what it is. You brush your teeth in the morning, you're removing a biofilm. Uh, you pick up a rock in the river, that is usually covered by a biofilm. So they grow everywhere. And they like to grow on these surfaces. And how that happens is shown here. So the bacteria, which are normally swimming around, might bump into a nice surface. They start to grow on the surface. They attach specifically to the surface. They start to make polysaccharides and form little colonies on the surface. Over time, they get bigger and bigger creating quite big, um, complex communities. And often this isn't one type of bacteria, it's many types, which can form lots of structures that depend on the material and where they're located. If it's in a river where the water is going very fast, it will look different than if it's in a pond that isn't moving. Eventually, some of the bacteria might decide to leave uh, the biofilm and go and perhaps bump into a new surface. They do this, yeah, they do this for a couple of reasons. They, uh, for one, if, if you think in terms of human disease, if a bacteria like E. coli ends up in the bladder, it needs to hold on, and it will form a biofilm on the uh, wall of the bladder or in the lungs for certain kinds of infections. Uh, usually it means it's in a good location to get food and be able to grow. In addition, it's protected by the other bacteria. Now, biofilms are usually very resistant to antibiotics and it's a huge problem. Why do you think a bacterial cell in a biofilm would be more resistant to an antibiotic. Think about that for a minute. There are many reasons, not all understood, but they're in different metabolic states. For example, oxygen and nutrients are limiting. They're protected by this extra cytoplasmic polysaccharide. And bacteria near the surface are difficult to reach. So for all those reasons, it's a problem. And this is a problem in many, both in medical fields and also in, for example, um, food production, when you're, where you're producing that biofilms will form on tubing and on machinery, anywhere where it's a nice place for a bacteria to grow.